guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So as you can tell, based on the title, I've got a bit of an unboxing slash I thought I would go through with you guys jewelry that is on my radar, on my wish list, things I have been looking at. Now, if I'm gonna be totally real, I have a very humble, small jewelry collection. It sounds really sad, but it's something I don't really treat myself to. David on certain occasions has gotten me like a gift for like my birthday, Christmas, things like that. This is like a gift from my mom. My treat to myself has always been handbag, but I think I should treat myself to some jewelry. I received the package in the mail, opened that bit up, but I did not open up the actual item here. And so this is from another fellow YouTuber. If you're not familiar, I've talked about her on my channel before, Layla Sophia, and she's an incredible jewelry designer. Her work has been featured in Vogue magazine. This is not a sponsored collaboration. If you've been watching my channel, you know, even though I do get asked to do collaborations and like even review handbags from certain brands, but like Layla Sophia said she was going to give me something, said I didn't even need to show it on my channel. There was none of that, but I was so happy to accept this. I feel so humbled. I just, I can't even believe this. Recently, she just asked me on Instagram if she would send me something and I would accept. Of course I would. Her jewelry is stunning and it's beautiful. I just took it out of the package. So it was in this beautiful brown paper, which is so on brand for her. She loves her beautiful, delicious browns. I haven't even opened up the envelope, guys, and it came in this beautiful, beautiful, lovely brown box. So this is like truly a true unboxing. And I just, honestly, guys, I feel so humbled by this. So this is the envelope and oh my gosh. So, wow. So she has just this beautiful card here. So I'm just gonna read it out to you. Lalo Sophia is a line of fine jewelry inspired by ancient Berber patterns, traditional filigree, and the natural landscape of Morocco, all elements of the designer's North African heritage. Hand carved and cast in New York City, the amulets, cartouche, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, rings and diamond shaped medallions alike evoke ancient symbolism and protective motifs designed to speak uniquely to each wear. The organic essence of Lalo Sophia's fine jewelry strips away clean modern lines leaving room for the work to be interpreted in love for its imperfect nature. Shop the collection online at Layla Sophia Jewelry as well as in person at our private studio in Soho, New York. Custom work is available upon inquiry. Discover more on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. And I will link her website, her Instagram, her YouTube channel. If you have not followed her, please check out her work. Oh my gosh, I'm just reading. And she, she left me a message on the back here and I'm just reading it. Oh my gosh, it's in this like beautiful gold lettering. I can't even believe this. Here is the beautiful box, beautiful brown. And it's got, it's got something here. And I think this is like the, okay, so this is her, her card. Look at the like beautiful font. Look at the beautiful font. It's in this like beautiful cream and gold color combination. So signature. So here it is in this, oh my gosh, this is such a, I'm just stunned, guys. Okay, so here is the beautiful ribbon. And then, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. My favorite brown, like this deep chocolate brown. It's just so pretty. It's like dark chocolate. It's just, I love the shade of brown. I'm so, oh my gosh, like every moment is just, okay, so it comes with this customized dust bag. Look at this. It's just this like beautiful, gold dust bag with her embossed or debossed in the leather. It's not just like printed on. So if you travel, if you're going somewhere, you can take this. Oh my gosh, it feels just so nice. Okay, oh my gosh. <gasps> she, okay, like she, here's the thing. I did not tell her which one I wanted. She asked me, hey, like here, are you interested in any of these? And she showed me video. And I was just like, I don't know. Like, I, they're all so beautiful. Like, you pick one out. I've seen this one, and this one, if I'm gonna be honest, it was my favorite. And this is just, it's so beautiful. So this is the Lily pendant, and it's from the Bou Bouquet line. So it's from the Floral Bouquet inspired line. So, wow, this is incredible. I'm just so in awe, guys. Wow, I'm so in awe. So just up close. So just to see it up close, I don't know if it's gonna... I'll have some cutouts. I'll have some cutouts if, here. here. I'm just gonna put this on, but it is just this beautiful lily. It is gorgeous. Wow, it is so pretty. Okay, so this is it, guys. It is so pretty. So this is from the bouquet line. I don't know if you can see it up close, but it is so 
intricate and delicate. I can't even believe that this is something that she made. The detail on this, this is so beautiful. It is so sculptural. I can't believe that this is handmade at this level of detail and intricacy. I just, I am totally in awe. And the story behind this piece, it's really beautiful. It's actually inspired by her late aunt, who's a very important figure in Layla Sophia's life. Um, she passed away, but one of the things her aunt always did was she would send her flowers and like beautiful flowers during special occasions. And it's just a beautiful way to commemorate someone so important in her life. And when she talked about her aunt, I kind of feel that kind of dynamic of having a like fashionable aunt in your life. I definitely had an aunt like that in my life as well. Someone that just was so over the top, just the way she talks about her aunt. A lot of us probably have like a woman or like maybe it's an aunt, maybe it's a sister, maybe it's a cousin, like someone in that in our lives that inspired inspired that love for fashion and I think it's just a beautiful way to commemorate and like remember somebody and one thing that Layla Sophia was talking about I've always kind of felt this way about florals to me I've always loved flowers like a lot of other people right they're so beautiful but I've just never gravitated towards floral prints or wearing it so much like wearing like a floral print and I have in the past trust me I've done it several times but I think like when she expressed how this collection was about like sort of the natural and the organic and sort of like the imperfect elements of flowers that's what makes nature beautiful that really resonated with me because I was recently thinking about so this is a piece from Tiffany and it's just kind of like a cartoonish looking floral I don't really wear this they're almost like made in a way that's so perfect whereas this it's like a one-of-a-kind its own unique beautifully handcrafted and the quality is there guys this is 14 karat gold and you can definitely see that kind of natural touch that organic touch that is rooted in her ancestry her heritage seeing sort of these more like naturalistic patterns they're not like always perfect and mechanical but that's kind of the beauty and the way that this is about nature and like the beauty of flowers the story behind it's very beautiful she has a lot of other rings and bracelets other pendants other florals like there's one with like a budding rose like there's so many gorgeous patterns please check out her work now let's talk about jewelry that is on my radar jewelry that I'm potentially considering adding things that I'm looking at so the first thing that I have been looking to add one piece of jewelry that like my mom gave me is this she gave this like when I had my son and it's a sapphire ring and if I'm gonna be honest I like this ring but I do feel like it looks like my mother's ring which is fine that's why we buy jewelry so we can pass them down I want something that tie in the sapphires in like a more modernist way I was thinking of getting a sapphire ring that just felt like a little bit more modern that I could wear on another finger I found this from a brand called rainbow K and it's called the wave sapphire ring so this is a jewelry brand that takes a lot of art deco inspirations and they use a lot of colorful gemstones and this is something I've been kind of struggling with because a lot of the big design houses they don't really have a lot of colorful gemstones but this is a brand that does have a lot of colorful gemstones for me my birthstone is sapphire which is why my mom gave this to me when I was born she got herself this ring as like a way to commemorate this and then when I had my son she gave this to me as like a gift this ring feels a little bit more like modern a little bit more contemporary but also it's just a slight deviation from just a ring right like a sapphire ring but I think it adds something interesting the way they design this is they make it stacked well, and I can just imagine stacking all these rings would look super cool and another item that is on my wish list now It doesn't have to be specifically from this brand But I remember seeing tour from anthropology show this on his channel and it's a garnet pendant from David Yurman The reason why I want a garnet pendant is because my son's a January baby So his gemstone is garnet and I guess I don't know why I'm like I want to continue on the tradition Well, it doesn't have to be this specific brand. I'm just gonna show this as an example This is probably the closest thing. I just want to know that he can wear because while I would love to be able to pass this down onto him I don't think it would make sense So I have this as like my ring that symbolizes his birth and then I can pass it down to him And we can make it like family tradition Like I don't know why I'm thinking about this But this is why these things are special right because they commemorate special moments in your life Rarely do I treat myself to jewelry So if I am I'm gonna make it count the next item of jewelry that I am heavily considering is from Sophie Buhai I feel this is a brand that I see a lot of cool chic minimalist girls love this brand it seems and I can totally see why there's kind of like a lot of like sculptural details 
but it's still clean at the same time. They have this necklace and it's called the Small Mosaic Collar in Dumorthrite. I don't know, I'm totally mispronouncing that. It's like stones. The clasp is so interesting to me. I don't know why, like I really love it when jewelry has really interesting clasp details. I think this is just such a nice necklace. Another thing that I've been seeing, so obviously I really like blue. While I don't always wear a lot of really bright colors, I do like the color blue. And these are from the brand L'Atelier New Bar. And these are the bamboo 18 karat gold lapis lazuli diamond hoop earrings. I just think these are so pretty. I have these that I wear all the time. These are the Tiffany Atlas earrings. David bought them for me a couple Christmases ago. I want something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. It would just be like an interesting way to upgrade this existing piece. Finally, I'm gonna talk about two pieces that are not on the top of my list, if I'm gonna be honest. I do like them. The last one being like fantasy item. And it's kind of like a generic one. If I'm gonna pick a bangle, guys, if I'm gonna pick a bracelet, right now in my life, just because I'm very hands-on, I don't see this being in the near future. I'm just like a part-time toddler chef. I'm just using my hands a lot. If I'm gonna get a bangle. I know there's the Cartier Love bracelet. Everyone loves that. It's like the most popular item on YouTube. Everyone swears by it. Honestly, if someone gifted it to me, I would totally accept it. You think it's beautiful. Another one is the Van Cleef Alhambra motif. Very beautiful. If someone bought it for me, I'd totally accept. I don't know if I'd buy it for myself. One item I do love, okay? Like, I do think it's so beautiful. I love the Cartier Justin Clou. Like, I just do. I think it's so nice. I think it's so interesting. I love the wraparound. I love that it's not your conventional bangle. People know what it is, and it's probably super overdone. Done, but I feel like on YouTube we see it all the time. I just like it. I can't help but say that I like it. I do. It is what it is. If I have to pick a bang, I'm gonna pick that one. And the final item on my list, which is kind of ridiculous. I feel it's just a fantasy piece. It is on the pre-love market right now. Sometimes it's like a ridiculous price point. Sometimes it's, oh, okay, I think I could do that if I just don't buy any handbags for the next six months. And I'm talking about Patek Philippe. Like I'm saying this wrong, okay? I'm not a watch person, so probably saying this wrong, but I'm talking about the Patek Tech Philippe La Flame watch. I've seen this on the pre-love market. This is something I would have to get vintage and it's definitely something I would want to try on. I would not just want to buy this from Fashion File if it like came up or some other site and just hope for the best. I would want to try this on. I just think this watch is stunning. It is so interesting. If it was the right place, right time and if I had not bought any handbags in the past six months and maybe I sold six handbags, maybe we can make this happen. But I'm going to be real though, this is like a fantasy thing. It's just not a necessity in my my life right now but yeah I, I do think it's beautiful maybe one day if I'm just in like the right place the right time they have it and it's at a reasonable price it's like one thing that I feel I would like treat myself to as like an ultimate milestone or just whatever like I just want to treat myself right anyways that is my video on jewelry I know it's not really something I talk about because yeah it's just it sounds really sad but like I don't it I don't treat myself to and I really think I should thank you so much for joining me in another video and I hope to see you in the next one bye